Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Legacy of the Meme. We have gone to the surface of the planet, and now we are going inside of the Terratron. But first, let's uh, check out the solar core, make sure that we have all the things that we need. That's good, that's good, that's good, that is good. Pop a couple points into those, and we can head to the War Council for our two new units. First is going to be the Vanguard. What is the Vanguard going to do? Okay, this is going to be a really, really bold one. But what if we take its name apart? Van and Guard. A van might be an APC, right? People love the APC memes from the randomizer and stuff. So what if it spawns with an APC and it ha the APC goes places and it has to protect it? That would be really stupid. But you like, I don't know. <laughs> I think it's going to involve guarding a van, and I don't know the mechanics behind it. Second is going to be the Reaver. And I think that the Reaver is going to have its scarabs go in really stupid places, <laughs> because that's what it does in StarCraft 1, and it's awful. Uh, and I know that Ace was one of the people that worked on this campaign, so I... And I know that he is not a big Reaver fan, because in the co-op version of StarCraft 1, uh, Reavers did friendly fire to your ally, and I accidentally killed all of his workers with one. So, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if that was part of it. Let's see, I want the, the Phoenix, because we have not used Yeetus Phoenix very much. We'll keep Darth Ark on, and I've switched to the Sentinel and the Stalker, kinda hoping for a robo-based composition. But now that I say that, I don't actually know if the Vanguard or the Reaver are going to be not biological. That is kind of a bold statement to make, so we'll see exactly how it goes. I'm not convinced that I'll ever be able to truly use the Stalker without irradiating my friends. And then Purification is a nice mission because it starts you with an Immortal, so we're going to be a... I knew it! <laughs> it's the auto turret on the APC! That's even better than I could have asked! <laughs> Does it, lo it launch people! It's a vanguard! It does exactly what it said on the tin, and I'm so happy. <laughs> well, let's go test it out. Let's go see what the Vanguard can do. I wonder if people can shoot out of the van. That'd be really nice. We could just create this awesome super van. <laughs> what? It shoots pain links. Why? Is this amazing? What is happening? This unit might be really good. This is so wild. <laughs> oh man, we can get a Robo Bay. <laughs> I really hope that loading people in allows them to fire out and we can just create super vans. So we just, we just kite away forever and our vanguard is gonna, it doesn't have very much vision range, which is an interesting way to nerf it, but it's got enough. <laughs> Drop the boys! Defend the van! <laughs> what a stupid unit! This is the dumbest unit I've ever seen. Oh, that's so good. Okay, do they shoot out? Let's go on over. They do not. The APC has no value. <laughs> but we're gonna APC our guys anyway. <laughs> uh, ground ground-based transports are so bad in RTS. <laughs> All right, get ready to go, boy. <laughs> I guess we need to be forward so we can kite them. You seek to challenge me? I have an APC. <laughs> They're having a hard time surrounding it. Boing. Boing. And kill. This is amazing. This thing is so powerful. Okay, so up next is going to be the Reaver. Let us see what we have going on there. I am a little bit apprehensive. <laughs> Jabri. Jabri Ito. It's got charge. 
Uh, cannot target your own units. Okay. Um, it's got a B thing. The purifiers will attack the Zerg and slow their attacks it's upon got the a munch that does zero damage. Is this melee? The great... Oh my god. It's the very hungry caterpillar, isn't it? Oh no. <laughs> its stats are so bad. So we have to get do we have to get it to eat stuff? Is that how it works? Are we gonna have to micro this guy until he levels up? Okay, we're gonna We're gonna babysit this really hard. No 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 do not attack Jabri Ito. Okay. We're gonna very hungry caterpillar these nerds. We're gonna get some more vanguards because they're important. Uh, we can get some disco sentries to help out with the Shield restoration. Oh, head back, head back, head back. We can... How do we eat stuff? Uh, did it level up? Was it level zero or level one before? Does it level up by killing... Cannot target my own units. Oh, no. We're going to have to figure this out. Because I want to level it up. And I want to see what happens. It's got an ability. And if it is the very hungry caterpillar, like I think it is... That means it's going to metamorph into a beautiful butterfly. Right? Right? Dude. Dude. All the years of childcare are paying off right here. This is beautiful. I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, I hope we get Little Blue Truck as well. That was my favorite book to read. But I don't know if we have a copyright on that one. Okay, we're going to activate the shield. Oh! Okay. Uh, we're going to have to make some more reavers. We might have to do the brute force method for the Reavers now that I think of it. Where we just build a bunch of them. How much are they? They're really expensive for what you get at the beginning. But they probably get really good, right? I'm going to save the buildings and we're going to brute... No, do not vanguard them. Then hopefully we can use the uh, very hungry caterpillars to eat the broodlings. And that's how they'll get their initial meal. And then they'll start getting better. They're... They're interesting. They're actually, they're so tough to use. Getting a lot of sentries to support. With those sentries of asteroid impacts. The core matrix is under attack. It must not fall. And then we can blink the stalkers on top to irradiate our foes. We like have actual strategy here. This is so weird. I thought that this entire run was just going to be dumb memes the entire time and a blitz through. But I'm like sitting here coming up with strats to figure out how to use my stuff, and that's amazing. I'm so excited. Okay, Mr. Caterpillar, it is time to nibble. Actually, maybe we need to get it a shield upgrade so it's more durable. Actually, maybe it's just gonna die. Okay, that's cool. We're gonna make like eight of them, and they're gonna go on the warpath. One is bound to kill something. <laughs> because nothing else I'm doing is working. These, these APCs, oh, I had guys inside of it the entire time. That would have been helpful. I think that the ability to load might actually be a detriment. It just makes it harder to use. Also, it's very hard to tell what guys you have inside of, or how many Reavers you have. Answer is currently three. So we get a lot of shield restorers. We're gonna guardian shield, and we're really gonna hope that this works. Got about that. Wait, what? <gasps> Wait, does it one-shot enemy? Oh my god, it one-shots enemies. It just, it consumed them. All it had to do was touch. What? Oh my god. Oh my, it's eating the larva. Dude, 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 very hungry caterpillar might be MVP. It's having a hard time with the larva because they can move. Huh. Let's get them attacking over here. We're gonna take this down. Oh, go over here. No, they... <laughs> they don't listen to me. I don't remember that in the book. Oh. Uh... Well, okay, this one's going on over. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. This guy's level nine. What? How is this so broken? 
It literally is one-shotting everything. They're getting pretty, pretty chungus right here. Getting chungus among us. Why does Sentry suck so bad? Fortunately. 12? Oh, it's happening. They're having trouble eating some things. What is happening with the sentries? Oh, anyone that gets attacked goes disco mode. Of course, I forgot about that. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave this for now. You know, we're just gonna, we're gonna come back later and we're gonna see what happened with these friends. Because we have to not die. Uh, can we deal with that attack wave just with these reavers? Maybe? Maybe? Okay. I'm gonna go back to APCs. Wait, can they eat anything? Can they eat the bonus objective? We need to open this up. And then we'll figure things out later. This guy's level 14. We're gonna bring these two over here, and then this guy is just going to feed forever. We'll see what level he has to get to. They just see Noltralisk in one hit? My goodness. 17? Uh, they're going back to the court. Okay. Energy flow um, increasing exponentially. This is so weird. The purifiers are activating. We got the first set of purifiers, though. We'll defend, we'll deal the bonus objective, and then we'll start on our death. Oh my gosh, go get him, go get him, go get him! Oh, we can't eat heroic. What? Where'd that ultralist come from? What? Where did that ultralist come from? Oh! Everybody inside of them pops out when they die. That just means the other ones get to eat them up, right? That's pretty good. Oh, oh, he's level 20. He's level 20. We can press the button. Metamorphosis. Butterfleaver, cocoon, butterfleaver. Yeah, flavor. Da 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 It's so majestic. <laughs> this is so good. This is amazing. <laughs> I love this so much. And we're gonna lose the game. It doesn't even matter. This is so stupid. <laughs> the butter flavor. Oh, it's so powerful. It's out of reverse. <laughs> that was such a large investment of time and efforts for very little gains. But really, that's my channel in a nutshell, isn't it? Oh, no. Eat the ultra. It's so beautiful. You've never seen something this beautiful before. And we have the Butterfleaver farm. We can just send this guy over here, and then he'll eventually become one as well. All right, let's go. Let's clear. <laughs> Everything is perfect. We have our vanguards guarding the van. We have our Butterfleavers. Are you kidding? Could you stop? Uh, you know what would be good here? Maybe some Blood Hunters or Darth Archons. Like, legitimately, I think those would be very helpful right now. Whoa, my entire army went the wrong way. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Uh, I guess we can irradiate all these to death. Oh, no. Where's my Butterfleaver? He could help. Oh, he is help. He's got a laser! How many attacks does he have? He has Broodling Strike, Scarabs, and Antimatter- Why does he have the Scout Attack? <laughs> Not something I ever would have expected. Oh, that's so funny. Okay, we've held. We can get some Dark Templar for defense. And maybe we're gonna give the Darth Archon another show. Because- No, Butterflavor! Butterflavor! 
Oh, vipers! All my supply is gone. I think that these vanguards are actually pretty bad. We got another Jay Burrito. We can get... <laughs> they exploded another tiny. <laughs> These are trying their best. There's another big attack wave over here. Try to defend. I'm lacking an anti-air again. It feels like nothing has anti-air in this campaign. Oh, can these hit air? Oh, they can. The auto gun can. We're going to lose this. What level are you? You're level 20. So we're going to rotate out. And then I guess we make one more for later. Get some Darth Archons. We're going to have a lot of gas soon. And these guys, apparently they have a really fast auto attack. Um, I, ju I just wanted to see your fast auto attack, but okay. Oh gosh, we got to get it out of here. 10. This thing doesn't do very much damage. Oh, can it not rebuild? He was full. Oh, it rebuilds scarabs really slow. That's the problem. Well, that's kind of disappointing. So I think that the butter flavor is actually not very good. I think being able to one-shot units is actually better. Okay, so we have force push. Yetus Maximus! Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Yetus! Oh. He's gone. Okay. Let's try clearing another area so I can get some more gas. Uh, we're going to clear up here because this is where the next attack is most likely going to come from. Oh, the vanguards are having a pathing problem. <laughs> I forgot to take a cliff jump. I thought they were being dumb. 15? I guess they're good support fire and they're anti-air, which I desperately needed. So force choke is T. And we can just force choke like everything? And it stuns it? Force choke the ultra? Oh, it doesn't get stunned because it's an ultra. Wow. The Archon do some damage. That's crazy. Look at this force lightning. This is insane. Whoa. I did not get to pay this unit proper attention last time because there was so much going on. I'm glad that I decided to revisit it here. This is in madness. We have unlimited power. Sorry. Unlimited power. Oh, no. Okay, the Blood Hunters are doing their job. They're hunting the Blood. We're going to be able to grab a probe and send it up here to grab those gases. We're getting multi pronged. But we do have Darth Archon. Are you, are you pretty? Yeah, you're pretty. And then, do I have another one? I can't just tell by looking. I have to... Here, here's a reaver. Oh, here it is. Yeah. You go over there with the attack move. See if you can path past my chungus of an army. And we're going to keep clearing. Good. We're going to be able to get these gases. So the damage isn't very high with these Darth Archons. But because they hit a bunch of stuff at once, that's pretty good. Though they still... Oh, Vipers, man. The Vipers are so broken. What you gonna do? Campaign version specifically is just madness. Let's confusion these. I think confusion is their best ability, honestly. Just uh, get the enemies to be distracted and then melt through them with the auto attack. Where are the Blood Hunters? Oh, no, 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 no. Ah... Uh, the behemoth is a detector. No, we're gonna die. 
much more damage. Protected at all Okay, so the Blood Hunters do not protect. 102 HP left. Oh no. Are you doing your job? Yeah, you are, but this HP. We're having such a hard time staying alive. What <laughs> what do I do? We have two more over here to deal with. If they attack us from the top, we're going to be in bad shape. I'm going to assume they're not going to send a hybrid dominator for a sec. Let's get some guys down here. We need to keep clearing. We got to be faster. We can get a gas and a gas. Oh, this might be the end. Get more momentum. Oh, this mission is tough. Yeah, I think the Butterfleaver is just underpowered. Like, it's it's a lot of work to get, and the thing that you get out of it doesn't really do much. And it's vulnerable to things like Abduct. Which really only matters on this specific mission, but it still matters. Are you kidding? No! No! We just dealt with an attack on this side! I don't like this mission. <laughs> the attack waves are so insane. It'd be better if I had Solar Lance. We're not that far behind. Actually, we're in a much better position than we were before. These are too big. That is the problem with the Vanguard, is it takes up so much space that my army is having a hard time fighting. So I need to not build any more of those. We can clear out all of these. Try not to take any damage on the objective. And then confusion. Uh, hybrid are immune to confusion, that's probably reasonable. Uh, don't make any more... Just all the robo-units are garbage. The Butterfleaver farm... I mean, this one can upgrade, but besides that, I'm not convinced it's a great idea. We can make more Darth Archons with... Uh, they're pretty... They're solid. I think they're my best gas dump at this point. Uh, yeah... We just got a lot of pickups, so we'll have some extra cash. Let's get a couple pieces of static defense over here, even though the static defense just doesn't work against this big hybrid. Maybe we need to leave the butter flavors over here. They're very slow. They weren't really helping out in the fight. So having them just chill as a piece of static defense might be where they are ideal. I kind of want to leave the vans at home, too. They just... They're getting in the way. We can go confusion, confusion. Can we eat this guy? Nope. We cannot do anything against the hybrid dominator. And it takes us a long time to clear through that. So where are my butter flavors? Uh, there they are. Sorry, I see the reaver, but I don't see the butter sometimes. I'm going to swing south instead. The area on the right-hand side was too scary for me. I'm not ready for that level of spooks. One thing that's nice about this area is if you hit the confusion ability, it causes enemies to attack each other. It's good on Banelings. You hit a Baneling with confusion, and that Baneling is just going to explode on his friend. We can force choke some of these. Nice. We didn't lose too much supply right here. And we have a lot of things to defend this time. Like 40 supply of defenses. Did we get gases here? Did I send a guy? Oh, I don't remember. You're AFK. You're AFK. Well, see if you can make the Great Migration, my friend. Good luck. Their damage is... It's a... It's, it's not great. Our pylon is under attack. We're getting a big attack incoming. We can send all of this over to intercept, and then we're going to shield overcharge just to make sure that nothing goes wrong. Your are under 
Oh yeah, they're stuck attacking the broodlings. That's what's good. Yep, so the broodlord is definitely more of a defensive unit than an aggressive one. That was the problem that I was making. Actually works really well on that defense. Okay, let's uh, da -da -da, lift. Try to lift these so that they don't get to spell cast on us. And the second one is taken down. We're gonna head this way. Grouping of null circuits is located here. So it is. <laughs> I am the conclave. It's ten mana to force push. Maybe force push spam is worth it. Uh, it doesn't hit a lot of stuff though. Ends range is pretty short. Never mind. It's too tough to use. Even though it's fun. Take this out. Get a new pile on. Then pull back. The, fires are the third quadrant is coming online now. The defenders are defending, and I believe that these guys are going to go to the bottom right, which is going to stop the insane hybrid attacks on that side. If they attack insanely from the top, it's much easier to deal with because they go through my base instead of going through this vulnerable area. Then there's only one more set to go. Come on, boys. I feel like that the Darth Archon should get a bonus if you only have two, you know? Are you serious? Vipers, chill. Chill! <laughs> They're like, I have force pull. You might have the push, but that's nothing compared to the Viper. Yep, my army just got cleaned up. I gotta pull back. Force pull back. I wish I could hit the Ultras with that. Yeah, we can hit them with the force choke. It's not going to stun them, but it's something. I thought they were going to lose for... Why are there so many Caraxes and Phoenixes? <laughs> oh, man, that makes up for the fact that I'm about to lose this game again, I think. 106 supply. What do I even make? Um, no, I don't need more vanguards. They're just too big. Somehow that hatch lived. I thought I killed it. I mean, if we bring all of these guys, they can't possibly attack again, right? 15 kill Karax. Nice job, bud. Though you are taking the credit from your drones. And you, don't, you don't even say thank you to them, which is a bit rude. But, you know. Let's, uh... Let's see if we can make this happen. So, Darth Archon attack. Uh, it turns out the dealing two damage is really bad because of armor. So, they're dealing like half of the damage to most targets, I think. Unless they're immune to it. Either way, two damage is a very low amount. And they're having trouble as a result. But if we can just protect the Broodlords, they should eventually be able to clear things out, right? We're gonna get some Stalkers. We're going to try pushing our way up. How many kills do you have? Oh, 22. I do think that you're okay, Mr. Broodlord. You just need a really long amount of time to rebuild the Broodlings, which is the difficult part. This army is also very unmicroable, which is part of the problem. <laughs> it's very hard to control when these huge APCs are in the way of everything. But it is working now. Yeah, this is definitely a lot better feeling when we're not being counterattacked and murdered. All right, all right. And then there's just one more null circuit, and we will be Zivicta. Oh, they have like nothing here. All right, and we got to read stuff. So Vanguard. Vanguard now guards a van and is loyally attached to it. Shoots banelings instead of scatter cannons. I don't know why. <laughs> Can load units into the van, but there's no reason to do so. And then the Butterfleaver is the greatest unit of all time. Attacks ground with a Broodlord weapon. Attacks ground with a Reaver weapon. Attacks air with a Scout weapon. And I think I need to build... Oh no, we accident... 
Well, I'll have to build a reaver in next mission to read the basic tooltip to make sure I didn't miss anything there, but I don't think I did. <laughs> the long zealots, man. I love the long zealots so much. They're so stupid. <laughs> they can't even hit the queen. <laughs> you don't need to watch him fire. This is fine. Darth Archon powered up the uh, Death Star. It's going to fire. Easy peasy Starcraft. Guys, thank you for watching. I lost 338 units and it definitely felt like it. <laughs> I was not a cost-efficient Protoss today. <laughs> I'm going to have to use some of the better units from now on because this campaign's getting to the hard part. And I'm not using the Spear of Atune. And yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And I will see you tomorrow. Peace.